As we all celebrate the season, the administration, faculty, staff, and students of Greensburg Central Catholic want to take this time to thank our GCC community with a daily Advent reflection through the Magnificat O Antiphons. We wish all a blessed and safe Christmas season. Welcome. My name is Dylan Seabag. I'm a senior here at Greensburg Central Catholic. As the president of the Student Council, I thank you for joining us today. Our Catholic faith has a rich history of traditions that we celebrate throughout the liturgical year. During the last two weeks of Advent, from December 17th to the 23rd, our school community invites you to join us in the church's custom of proclaiming the arrival of the Messiah into the world by reciting the Magnificat of Antiphons. Let us reflect on God's infinite and perfect love for the world by giving His only begotten Son. Each Oanaphon begins by proclaiming the names of our Messiah found in the Old Testament. Wisdom, Adonai, Root of Jesse, Key of David, Radiant Dawn, King of Nations, and Emmanuel. As our journey toward the celebration of our Savior's birth draws near to Christmas Day, may the God of love fill our hearts with joy, peace, and hope that only He can give. Today, we are invited to reflect upon the image of the Messiah as the O King of David. King David has, was seen as a royal power of Israel whose kingdom would have no end. When God establishes his covenant with King David, he entrusts him with the power to govern and care for Israel's people. God gives King David the keys to the kingdom. Keys are symbolic and seen as a sign of power. The one who holds the keys can open those things that once were locked. The holder of the keys can grant access to places that are behind closed doors. God is faithful to the covenant that he formed with King David. The kingdom continues through Mary, a descendant of King David, who delivers the internal king to the world. Every step Mary took to Bethlehem was one step closer to giving the world the key of David, which would set us free. Isaiah had prophesied, all will place the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. To call Christ the, the key of David means that Christ Jesus is the key to getting into heaven. For us to hold the key of David means to be like Christ for others. For me, one way to be like Christ is through kindness. I see many examples of kindness at GCC every day. I see kindness when we collect donations for charities, when students help with the food bank, when a teacher stays after school to give extra help to a student, and when we welcome new students to the GCC community. These acts and countless others remind us that we hold the key of David in our heart, which we, are, which we are called to share with others. Now let us pray. O King of us all, we find ourselves standing before your strength and splendor, watching and waiting in these final days of Advent. You lift your mind in hope, now help us to open your life to the coming of the Spirit. Help us to want to be like Mary, your mother. May her wonderful courage and strength inspire us to do the same. She, she simply says yes, and the impossible was done. 
Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the quiet moments when I have felt your love. Help us to be like King David and Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, as we place our trust in you and say, nothing, nothing will be impossible with God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, glory to God alone, today and always.